Okay, in the previous three tutorials, we've looked at the basic setup of soft body physics and working with these stretching and compression settings here. And then uh, one of the other things we're going to do is we're going to look at maybe running this, maybe make this a vehicle, and we're going to run it into a wall and crash it. You know, because if this was a rigid body, it would just kind of bounce off and go bouncing everywhere. But in real soft body physics, this is going to kind of crunch and dent in the whole nine yards. So I'll go into edit mode. Here's my basic shape that I kind of just built in advance, like this. And I'll go into the vertex group. And I'll give everything instead of, all right, well, let's make sure they're all set at zero. Here's zero here, so I'll sign it. So I know they're all at zero right now. All right, so then I'll go look at it in ortho mode here but I don't want them all to be zero maybe right at the maybe at the near the front I want them to be zero oh, better get rid of that Let's see alright and I'll just get these up here I'll make sure those well, I'll make sure well those will be zero so I don't need those there but let's just change these up a little bit so let's get instead maybe those three will be zero but maybe these three will be I don't know, 0 0.2. Remember, it's only they're only frozen in place, and I'll assign those. They're only frozen in place if they're set at a value of 1. Okay, so then I'm going to leave those, and then I'm going to get my selection tool, and then maybe these here. I'll make 0.4 and assign those. And then these may be point seven and assign those. And those may be point nine and assign those. So if I change the value for each one. And I'll change the name. I'll call it car. Okay, I'll leave edit mode. All right, so then back in here, I still have my wind in the scene. So already when I run it, this should just start moving. But depending upon my current settings of the soft body physics right now, this thing could start crunching. So let's go in and crank up the quads, stiff quads on it. And we'll crank up the compression on it so it can't compress. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it's compressing already. You can see, but you can already see right here that it's compressing more up here towards the front where I have those vertex groups set less. All right, so I'm trying to find a balance between, you know, having enough wind, because if I have enough wind, it should push it along. But obviously, based on these settings, it's, you know, not... <laughs> it's obviously the shape of my mesh that's being affected you know because if you imagine uh, from in here let's see yeah, if you imagine these points here they're going to compress easier based on these angles so probably would have been better off with a square mesh for starters but this kind of gives you an idea now let's see if we really cr cranked up the wind force on it You can see it's kind of pushing it along. It's trying to push it along the ground. So this is, well, I think I'd t tell you what we'll do is, well, maybe one thing is we won't give it as much force. We'll go back into here and on these last values for the vertex group, let's, don't leave them so fixed in place. Let's make those 0.7 also. Let's see how much of a difference that makes. Could all day. Uh, you can see it wants to move along a little bit quicker because of it. So maybe, all right, let's try it this way. Let's just make that half of the car. We'll just weight it at 0.5. Sign that. All right, so it's fairly free to move, and these were really compressible to move. All right, let's see what happens there all day at the beginning. All right, so now it's pushing it further along. All right, and it gets to about there, so it's close. We're not, it's not exact, but I think you, 
it'll give you enough of an idea to get working with it. So I'm going to add a plane to the scene real quick and I'll just scale it a little bit like here and rotate it on Y maybe 90 and move it back here so it's kind of in front of the vehicle like this and then I'll move that there fairly close by since I can't be pushing it very far yet and then I'm going to go make this a collision based object as well All right. so now let's run it it's going to start and then you see it's crashing more see it compresses onto itself because it can't get past that All right. And so well you know what the nice thing about this is this is uh, the simulation is significantly faster than my older computer I really haven't done much soft body physics in, I mean, years, six, back since like 2.37a. A lot of that was my t early, early tornado animations. I had a lot of soft body results in it, but it was pain, painful the amount of time that it would take to render it. But I can see this is a huge change in performance. So I think I'd have to crank up and start doing some more fun stuff uh, with soft body physics. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.